Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Capricorns who are watching. So if you have Capricorn as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Capricorn, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another, just whoever in your heart Capricorn is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started here, Capricorn, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you here specifically, and if it does not, Capricorn, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started here. Can we please receive a couple messages? For my Capricorns, please, when it comes to love. Who is this person that is making their way towards Capricorn? All right, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and take what we have right here. We also have a weight that came out, so I'll keep that energy in mind as well. But very first card we'll go over is I don't want to block your light. I believe in love because of you. There's so much curiosity I have when it comes to you. I always think of the perfect thing to say to you. I want to please you. This has taught me a lot, but I'm moving on. Last but not least for now. We have actions over words. All right, Capricorn. So I do feel like this is someone you've crossed paths with before. And it was like a misconnection where there was there was potential between the both of you. But it's like the time you two met one another or knew one another, it did not mesh or it did not connect like it like it could and I, I feel like with your intentions and your motives Capricorn you don't want to be in a situation where it's like oh I would be so much more happier or feel so much more secure if only this person did this if only they included this so it's like you didn't want to uh like sell yourself short in a way or lower your your values because of this so this connection may have just not been for you, Capricorn, but in a perfect world, you would you would have liked to see how this turned out here. I do feel like this person, in a way, wasn't ready for your love here. I feel like you taught them a lot, Capricorn. You showed them a lot just by being a solid, good, admirable person in their life here. For some of my Capricorns, I feel like this person felt like you were in a different caliber or you were on another level, a different level. So when it came to comparing themselves to you, they may have felt less than, but that wasn't even a focus on the connection for you, Capricorn. It's like, we all can do better for ourselves and we can achieve better in time. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't want to block your light. I feel like this is this person's energy, Capricorn with them going or with them having things going on behind the scenes or perhaps I'm feeling like they have all this baggage or mess um, in their own personal life. It's like, I don't want to drag Capricorn into any drama. I don't want Capricorn to feel like they need to help me or save me when this is too much of a matter for them to do that it's like they knew that they needed to step in on their own or take care of things on their own it wasn't your job capricorn so maybe this person started to go silent here i feel like they they were maybe 
suppressing how they really felt or their true selves, Capricorn. This person coming off as somewhat mysterious or you know there's so much more to them, but they take their own time. There's so much curiosity I have when it comes to you. I feel like this is your energy, Capricorn. Could have been a shared energy, but this connection not reaching the all of its depth. Like, there's so many more questions I have about you. I, I feel like I only know a fraction of you. I feel like there's this wall up, and I'm trying to break it. I'm not trying to force it, but I would hope that through time and through trust that I would feel trusting of you and you would feel trusting of me so that we could move forward efficiently. We also have, I always think of the perfect thing to say to you. I want to please you. I feel like for the most part here, Capricorn, this connection was genuine. This person trying to be as considerate as possible, which is, and this is no excuse, but sometimes people don't want to hurt us any further so they they just leave because they they feel like it's it's already a problem and once again not an excuse but i feel like this is this person's energy where they did care about you capricorn they did want to appeal to you and them being in your face it wasn't all for nothing or they didn't intend for it to be like that of course only take what resonates for you capricorn but them trying not to be messy or sloppy with you. I believe in love because of you. I feel like the type of person you are, Capricorn, this person soaked up your love or they absorbed your love. They register you in their mind as a great, beautiful person. And it's like the unfortunate truth if I don't commit to this now or because I don't have it all together for myself now or at this time. Capricorn may be a person I used to know. This has taught me a lot, but I'm moving on. This could be your energy, Capricorn. Feeling like this connection is just stagnant or dull or in a perfect world, X, Y, and Z would take place right now, but it's not. So let's just go our separate ways because the actions over words, I, I feel like that's a lacking energy here. And actions... Um, showcase, showcase, showcase movement here. So actions over words. What else for my Capricorns, please? Last but not least here. All right, Capricorn. So we have your energy is unmatched. You are amazing in my eyes. I've never had such strong feelings like this before. I don't think I'm right for you. Last but not least, I'm fortunate we've crossed paths. So I'm fortunate we, we've crossed paths. Could be a past person here, but this person feeling like you were a blessing who came in their life and what you showed them, even the love or your energy, I feel like it's something to hold on to for a lifetime. And it's, it's just like those little or big interactions where they... They mean their own definition to us personally, but we remember them for a reason. So I, I feel like if this is a person of the past, this this person will definitely, like, you are not just someone that they could not think about moving forward or they had ease in letting go of. I don't think I'm right for you. I feel like this is this person's energy here. Feeling like there's more that is needed for them to fulfill your wants, your needs, your satisfactions, or even knowing that they could be a better person than they are today and not wanting to step into this connection fully up until they're ready for themselves. I've never had such strong feelings like this before. But like this is this person's energy, Capricorn, and that's another thing, this person not wanting to hurt you. Um, it's like, I'd rather stay hey Capricorn. So welcome to the second clip of your reading my video cut out. Um, so this is why we have this separate clip, but, um, I believe we left off with this last message. Unfortunate we've crossed paths. Um, this person being 
blessed to have been introduced to you, Capricorn, something that they'll hold on to moving forward. This is not something that was easy to let go for them here. And then your energy is unmatched. You are amazing in my eyes. So, and of course, or as always, only take what resonates for you, please. And this is no excuse, but it's like Capricorn does not deserve this. I can't give Capricorn the relationship or the commitment that they deserve. Maybe at another time, but even Capricorn doesn't deserve waiting. They don't deserve me holding them up from finding or receiving the love that they deserve and desire. All right, Capricorn, let's see what signs may be relevant here. We have Sagittarius for Capricorn. Sagittarius once again. Pisces, Sagittarius, Pisces. Last but not least is Virgo. All right, Capricorn, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love here and the support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.